At Witten School in Twickenham, restorative justice is helping to resolve disputes between students. Psychologist Bridget Medlam spends a day a week at the school. Today, she's trying to sort out a simmering row between a group of Year 8 girls, which is causing serious behaviour problems and disrupting lessons. I'm hoping to help them stop the circle. You know, friends, not friends, friends, not friends, to try and break that and to try and help them develop strategies not to always exacerbate the situation. One girl, Annie, seems to be regularly on the receiving end. But before seeing her, Bridget wants to meet two other girls, Natasha and Hannah, after a paint-throwing incident in an art class. It was me, Becca, Chelsea, Nanny, and we, right, we just saw Annie on her own and we thought, yeah, she can come and sit with us. So we called her and we was painting mm -hmm. and we was all, like, quite hyper. And um, so Becca, like, put a dot on my face with paint, so I, like, drawed on Chelsea's face. And then when Becca or Chelsea done it to Annie, she told of us and then she started shouting at us and that. But um, the thing is, we had all done it to each yeah. other, so it wasn't really, like, meant to be offensive. So she could just... So you were all mucking about with paint on your face and Annie joined, joined in and suddenly it became you lot picking on Annie. Is that what you're saying? And maybe sometimes it, we presume that people are going to think the same way as we do, don't we? So who are Annie's friends? Mercedes. Um... <laughs> she hasn't really so, do, you see, do you see the picture? Let's, let's... This is you lot. OK, you're a big group, aren't you, with lots of people in it. Natasha, draw any in her group. <laughs> and when you're that group, how do you think that group might look? Scary. If I had brought any into the meeting with these two girls, with the way they were on last week, She'd have had a terrible time, and she'd have been on her own in there to fight her own battle. And I wasn't prepared to do that. I wasn't prepared to bring her in and make the situation worse. Restorative justice is victim-focused. You have to do what's right for the victim. And even though in these school incidents like this, it's usually 60-40, it's very rarely a clear victim and a clear offender. The mini-conferences are based broadly on the key restorative questions. What happened? who's been affected, and how can things be put right. And shall I come sit next to you? you just next, Bridget and her assistant Alison are seeing Annie, along with another girl from the group, Rebecca. Right. Good morning, everybody. First of all, can I just say how pleased I am that you two have managed to get to this point where we can sit at the table and talk about this. and. Before we start, can I just make some ground rules? And um, they are that we respect each other, we respect the process, and we don't interrupt, and we let everybody have their say. And last but not least, that we're truthful. Is that OK with both of you? Yeah. OK, well, who'd like to start? Because we're talking about an incident that happened in art. So who'd like to go first? Any can go first. Any, would you like to go first? We were in art and I went to sit with um, Natasha and Chelsea and Rebecca and we were all sitting drawing when she put a little splodge in my book and then that's where it all kicked off so she slapped me. Right. So what was it like for you to be in that position, Annie? Not nice because I didn't want to fight. Mm -hmm. I don't like fighting anymore. And who do you think has been affected by what's happened? I mean, mostly because I don't go out anymore. In my point of view, it started off when Chelsea put the blood of paint in, Ch um, in his book and then yeah. Tasha did, and then I did. And then she pushed me away and so I hit her. So how do you feel about it now? I feel bad because I shouldn't have done it. Mm, I sorry. Mm -hmm. And do you want to tell any, any how you've been affected by what's happened? Um, I was affected by her sitting in sanctuary all day and being punished at home as well. And, Rebecca, what do you think you and Ellie can do together to make it better? Um, 
to stop letting other people stir it up and just be friends and stop all the arguing and fighting. So, do you think that would be a good place to start, that you two won't fight anymore? Yeah. yeah. We agree not to fight. Bridget likes to draw up formal contracts between the parties to reinforce the agreements about how they should behave in the future. Now, how much of what's happened between you do you think has been affected by the other people around you? Lots. Lots. I mean, can I ask at this point, um, do you two want to be friends or do you want to just be able to get on in class? I want no. to be friends. You want to be friends. So it would be quite good then if, you, if we could say, ignore each other and ignore the others and support each other. What yeah. do you want, any? Same. You want the same? Yeah. Right. Rebecca, do you want to sign it? Yeah. Do I sign it? I'm not going to say their behaviour is going to change totally, but it might help them think about the implications of what they've done a bit more than other methods where they're immediately punished and then feel resentful. Would you like to shake hands? Yeah. Mm. With the other hand. Oh. Mm. <laughs> right. And I think you've both done very well. Yeah. And um, I'm very pleased with, with what you've done, actually. I think you've done very well. Rebecca, I'd like to have a couple of minutes with Annie on her own now, if that's all right with you. OK. So thank you very much. And is that all right with you, Annie, if we just have a couple yeah. of minutes? I just want to talk to you about, about something. I was definitely using the process of restorative justice, but I was also using all my other communication skills as well. You need to sort of modify what you're doing. And yes, I do use a script, but it's not laid down in black and white. I don't follow it to the letter. What I tend to do is I tend to move it around. I tend to look for um, what would be appropriate at that time and what wouldn't be appropriate at that time. Bridget would like Annie to meet with more of the girls from the group. Yeah. It's, very, it's a difficult one, isn't it, Annie? Yeah. Because I can see that, um, I mean, you said to Alison you didn't want to meet with them. And that's absolutely fair enough. Mm -hmm. um, do you think you'd feel, do you think you still feel like that? Or do you think maybe having had this meeting with Rebecca, you might be able to have a meeting with them? Maybe, yeah. But that's the thing, though, because Rebecca's much more honest than, than they so, are. So you don't trust that the process would work for them? No, so I think the process would work, like, one by one. You've been through this experience with Rebecca. I mean, it can be safe. Yeah. You know, it can be safe. And, and um, I think that's important to say, isn't it? How are you feeling uh, now? No, it it is it your eye? Yeah. Do you want a tissue? Yes, please. You got one. I've got one in my bag. Sorry. Can I make a suggestion? Um, in your contract with um, Rebecca, one of the things you said is that you'll support each other in school. Yeah. And try and work on that until next week. You know. And remember, you have got Rebecca there, and you've got other friends. Who are your other friends? I've got light. Yeah. So yeah. you have got friends that you can be with. Yeah. There always has to be someone that pushes them away from you, so... But I don't mind, because I've got other friends yeah. as well, so... Oh, Annie. And, you know, you've come a long way today. You really have. Absolutely. You know, you've, you've come a long way. You've taken a sort of mature option. And let's organise a meeting with Natasha. And um, we'll take it from there. OK. OK. Later in the day, Natasha also agrees to meet up with Annie. Natasha, do you want to come in? Now, Bridget plans to dig a little deeper into the underlying causes of the conflicts. Natasha, do you want to sit? I'll bring the chair around. I just feel, both of you, there's unsaid things going on. Am I right? And then the other week, um, this ha um my cousin came in and she was basically crying and she was scared. And she didn't want to go to school because she thought that she was going to get beaten up. And she wouldn't do that over no situation. Mm -hmm. She would just come in crying for no right. reason. But that's the thing, though, because 
people, all the year sixes and all the other people as well have been saying to me that um, Alex, uh, Natasha's cousin, has been going up to your sister and bullying your sister. So... And, and I just said to her, I, I wasn't going to really beat her up because I know how it feels, but I just said to her that uh, if you beat up my sister, then I'm going to get someone to beat you up, which isn't true because I wasn't. But can you see it's involving all these other people, isn't it? And what's going on between you two is being affected by all these other people. Can you... I mean, that is something that seems certain to me. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Would you agree with yeah. that? Right. So where... How are you both feeling now? Any? Not good. You're not feeling good? No. OK. Natasha, how are you feeling? Normal. You're feeling normal. Any, what can we do to make you feel better? I don't know. You don't know. Right. So what are we going to do for you two? And what I'd like to suggest is that we make a contract. What do either of you think you can do for the other one to help to help the situation get better? Do you, know? you don't know. Any? Um, to to always, like you said, get the facts right before you judge other people. Can we put that one down? Get the facts right, okay? It's more important how we move forward. Yeah, that's can you what I would like to happen. Can you accept that one? Yeah. Right, so let's put that down. It's more important, important, how we move forward. Do you think you two can see something positive out of it? Any? Can you see anything? Yeah, because at the end of the day, then we'll either get on with each other or we won't, like, we won't talk to each other, but we'll understand that we shouldn't, we shouldn't judge other people before you get the facts right. What can you see that you've got out of this that's been positive? Um, that I know Annie's point of view you now, so it's uh, better, and then we can be friends. Is it that you want to be friends? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to shake hands? Well done. Well done, girls, honestly. Gosh. I don't know about you two, but I'm exhausted. How are you feeling? Any? Yeah, I'm all right now. Yeah. Senior management at the school believe Bridget's work is greatly improving pupils' behaviour. But it takes time and today's sessions will need to be followed up in the weeks ahead. Hi, guys. I think the cathartic effect in this particular scenario was very valuable, and it is the meat and two veg of what I do. I mean, I do incidents like that all the time. And what, what I sometimes say to the kids, because they don't always understand what restorative justice is, and, and I say I'm a bit like a relate counsellor. I'm trying to get you two to work together, to be in school together so that they're happier to be in school and that what they're doing isn't affecting other people in class.